Hmm, get a tragic here and welcome back to Arkham Horror. This is going to be a crazy turn. Let's get straight into it. There's tons of stuff going on. I've done mega planning behind the scenes and it's time for us to try and get this to work. So basically, here's the deal. We have a mass of all these monsters are in the independent square because we had a monster surge with only one gate on the board. So that's our second mythos was a, was a monster surge. Now, they're all corralled in there because this guy, who will be pun, he has a bass token, which means that they can't move into the street. But uh, we have, we're at the monster limit, basically. I mean, we can have one more monster enter the room, and then we're going to go up to terror levels. And we want to control these terror levels. But remember, every time we kill a goat spawn or any hexagon monster, we have to take corruption cards, which are these cards over here, which are super, super bad. So we want to use ways to send them to the cup without having to deal with that. So our plan is to use this spell, this time bomb, and explode them and use the milk of Shovnigarath to draw all the monsters to us, which will make us go insane. We can take, uh, we can take, you know, madness cards to stop going insane, but we actually do want to go insane because the thing is when you go insane, you are teleported to the Arkham Asylum, which gets us away from where the bomb's going to go off. So there's a lot of moving parts today, as Scott noticed. And we can't sneak in because no one's got a decent enough sneak. It's just a bit of a disaster. So this whole round is basically just going to be uh, trying to get that combo to go off. So we start with Roland. He starts with... He has fewer than two clue tokens, so he gets a clue token. He's got fewer, fewer than one dollar, so he gets a dollar. F fewer than two dollars, so he gets a dollar. And now... Uh, right, so what it, basically what I need to do... Whoever, get, whoever gets zapped is going to go insane. We don't want Leo to go insane because he's got seven clues. So we need to trade off this... So we somehow need to get this into a location. We need to give this to someone. And we need to give this to the same person. And then we need them to go insane. And this is the person to do it. Because she can recover her sanity so easily using her focus. So she's basically going to become a mad woman running around the place. Uh, just constantly going insane all the time. So she'll end up with no, no items. So we'll trade off all her items. She'll lose her clues. Doesn't matter. She's just going to go insane constantly. And we're going to use Ashcan to try and recur these items. So this is only $4 to recur. And this, though, is $3. And it takes us two turns to recur these things. So it's quite a lot going on. So for starters, we have this bloke here. He has one clue and two bucks. You need to start actually thinking about how to close these gates as well. One, two. So he's going to go one, two into River Town. He's going to use his focus to just go bam like so. Joe Diamond. He's got five clues. Let's get rid of this card. He's going to go... One, two, three, four, five to the police station. So he's got five movement. And he's going to give the report to this bloke. And I think that's it. Now, Leo is going to go one, two, three. Uh, do I want to send him to the black caves? 
may as well send them to the black cave and actually I can't remember which one has a higher frequency the graveyard of the black cave I think it's the black cave so I'll go here actually where was it he was the science builder wasn't he one two three four five that would be the perfect place to go the witch house one two three one, two, three, four, five. What's her movement? Her movement is four. Okay, so he's going to go one, two, three, four to the asylum. No, 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 no. He's going to go one, two, three, four to the library. Boom, and he also has to roll for... The, he doesn't have to roll for that, he just has to untap that. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Okay, yeah, so that's where he's going. Actually, we'll, take him, we'll just take him straight to there. So he's just going to go one, two, straight to the administration, try and get some money. Okay. Now, this bloke here, one, two, three, four, she's got four movement. He's just going to go one, two. One, two, three, yeah, so he's going to go, actually, he's going to go one, two, three, four. So he's going to use his two focus. He's got plus one to just go bam. And then he's going to go bam. That gives him four movement to get to the curiosity shot. So he went one, two, three, four. And on his movement, he's going to pass the flamethrower to Roland as well. Actually, no, this guy's going to go one, two, three, four to the graveyard. Because he's also going to pick up the, the mineral object, the, the, the report, which is what he wants. And he's going to drop the milk of Shub Nugarath off. So he went one, two, three, four. and picked up this thing here, which he needs to get that, uh, needs to get that ally. One, two, three, four. Yeah, okay. This guy's moved. He's not gonna trade anything. And now we have Lily, and Lily's gonna go one, two, three, four to the Black Cave. While she passes Roland, she picks up... Okay, no, hang on. I've done all this wrong. I had this all planned out, and now I've, I've screwed it all up. Let me try this again. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff to remember in this one. Okay. So, starting with Roland. Roland, he gets his dollar, and he gets his clue. And then he just goes one, two to Rivertown. Now he's the one who's everyone's going to trade through him. Joe Diamond has to go one, two, three, four, five to the police station. Okay. So he went into the Silver Twilight Lodge to trade with this bloke. And he picks up the crystal the manuscript and that's my phone ringing oh sorry about that i got uh, distracted by the uh the phone the phone ring okay so he picks up these things and i also have to pick up the time bomb which is the whole point yonk like so okay so he's now got the time bomb and he's got the report. 
which he then... Oh, oh, I've lost my concentration again. I just had the phone ring three times. Right, what was I saying? Yeah, so, and then he gives all those things to our trading person, okay? So all that stuff is down here. Okay, so to recap, because I had all the, the breaks, Joe, uh, this guy came into to downtown, the river town, and then Joe Diamond, he went, boom, to trade with him. So that's one, two, three, four, five, into the police station. When he passed him, he picked up some stuff, and then he dropped some stuff off here. And he needs five movement, which he's got. Boom. Now this bloke, he needs to go one, two, three, four to the graveyard. And he's going to drop off the milk of Shabnigarath. Well, he really needs some weapons. So then, Ashcan Pete is going to go one, two, three, four, back to the general store. He's going to give the flamethrower to Leo. And he needs a focus of one, and then he's going to tap the motorcycle to get that four movement. Okay, and now we have Lily, he's going to do the big move. So she goes one, two, three, four to the black cave. She needs four movement to do that. So that's one, two. She's also going to drop feeding the mine and this thing off to this bloke. And then she's going to take Time Bomb and the Milk. And at the end of a movement phase, she does Time Bomb. You may place this card on your current Arkham location or street area with up to three clue tokens from the bank on it. So bam. Yeah, let's place that there. Oh, let's turn off the snap and the grid. And we'll place a clue on it. One clue. Then still in her movement phase, discard the milk of Shabnigrath to move all non-spawn monsters in play to your current location, then reduce your sanity to zero and go insane. So this gets discarded. She goes insane, which sends her to the Arkham Asylum. And when you go insane, you lose half your items and half your clues rounded down. So she's only got one clue, so she loses that. She loses all her sanity, which she then gains one back and ends up at the Arkham Asylum. But the important thing is all these monsters and now here in the black cave and none of them can leave because this bloke here has a focus token. I mean, a, you know, a cat thing. And we're ready to go. So all these monsters are going to die next turn. So that's all good. So now we actually have someone who can actually do something. Uh, unfortunately, we can't put any more agents down here. We really wanted to get more agents, but we can't. So we need more clues. So he's going to go one, two, three, four to the science building. So she need, oh, she's only got one focus. So she can only have a maximum of three. So she's going to go one, two, one, two, three, two. Ah, oh, where's she going to go? One, let's take her to the old magic shop. Might get something good in here. She doesn't have any money though, so there's no point in going to the magic shop. Let's just go one, two, three to the hospital, I suppose. No, I don't know where to put her. I'll go to the boarding house. She, we should some more movement. 
She's only got one focus. It's pretty harsh. One, two, three. I'm going to go to the witch house. So that is one, two, three to the witch house. She's at the witch house with this girl. This girl has so many weapons. I think we're going to take shriveling off her and give her wither. And then she, uh, then Hank is going to go one, two, one, two, three to South Church. What's this thing here? No. One, two, three to South Church. And finally, we have Zoe. Let's move that across. We have Zoe's turn, and Zoe is going to go. She has two clues, and she has two dollars. So she's going to go one, two, three to up down. She's going to spend the two clues and the two dollars. Put another agent down, and also get a bass token. Okay, so basically, there's very, very little actual events going on here because we, we're, it's all about killing those monsters. So we start with Roland. He's in the street, so nothing happens. We then got Joe Diamond. He is at the police station. You blamo. Sheriff Eagle nods to you as you enter the police station. Something I can help you with. If you spend three clue tokens, you convince him that Arkham is in danger and he issues you a weapon. Take the first weapon from the common deck. Three clue tokens is super expensive in this particular game, but weapons are weapons. So one, two, three. And the first weapon. One, two, three. Rifle. Bam. Nice work. Okay. Leo Anderson is in the graveyard. A gate and a monster appears. Oh, God. Could there any, be anything worse for us? I don't think so. Oh, that is horrendous. So, a gate appears. And it is a purple gate. It's for Yog Sothoth. So he flies off to Yog. And two monsters. What you got for us? Ugh, Night Gaunt and a Lang Spider and another Dark Druid. Ugh, dear me, that is bad. Well, I guess I chose the wrong location. Then Ashcan Pete is at the general store. So he's going to go... Uh, what's the fight? Student newspaper. We don't want that at all, do we? I'm actually just going to do the event here. The shopkeeper motions you over. I've got something real special in stock today. Interested? You may draw the top two unique items and purchase one of them at the list price. That's awesome. So we know what we're going to want. We're going to get uh, this thing. So we'll get the one at the bottom of the deck. And we'll see what's on the top of the deck. Oh, shop digrath twice. So we'll spend four dollars, one, two, three, four. And we get this back. I'm never gonna get that elder sign. <laughs> this guy girl is at Arkham Asylum. Does she still does she still do her event at Arkham Asylum? I think she does. You hear screaming when you open the heavy door to investigate, a dark shape leans out at you. It's an insane man in a straight jacket babbling about invisible horrors. Make a law minus two check to glean some useful information from him. If you pass, glean two clue tokens. If you fail, lose one stamina as he attacks you. Uh, law minus two. Her law is two. 
So if you're going to fail and just lose one stamina. You know, actually, in the Insane in Arkham, right, uh, you have no further encounters this turn. So she actually wouldn't have had that encounter. So I'm just going to give her back that, that stamina. Uh, we also need another Doom token. Bam. And the Witch House, Gablomo. A gate and a monster appears. Are you kidding me? Oh, this is not good. So another gate. Another two more. Oh, wait. Uh, what am I doing? Monster limits. So we were at... Oh, God damn it. Oh, hang on. So this goes away. This goes away. That was the first one we drew. This one, this one. Okay. So that is, we're now at the monster limit. Okay. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So this would be one, two. And then this thing will open up. We go up another three. One, two, three. So we lose five allies. We've already got one, two, three on the table. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Get rid of them. And then we go one, two, three, four, five. And there you go. That leaves us three allies left. Oops, wrong buttons. Uh, this goes to the, the thing. Wow, that's insane. And she goes to the City of the Great Race, which is here. And just for the record, the first time we had the mon we had the thing happen, we go one, two to here. So the this place was not shut when Pete had his turn, but this is now shut. I'm trying to keep I'm trying to keep everything hidden from you because this is actually happening after the fact. But yeah, that is shut. Boom. Ugh, dear me. Tell you what, man, I shouldn't have called Rochelle a bitch. <laughs> you fuck with the gods and you pay the price. Oh man, that is a, that's some bad luck. Hank is at this South Church. You blamo. Knowing you are engaged in God's work, Father Michael blesses you. Well, at least we have some luck. Oh, gee, this is a really harsh turn, wasn't it? And that actually gives us the second clue here. So this is actually completed. Parchment has two clue tokens. Let's grab the second one of them. Sir America is blessed and may not be cursed. So we're blessed as well. Once per turn, Sister Mary may exhaust this card to re-roll a die during her upkeep phase. Interesting. Be a bit harder for her to lose her blessing now. And uh, finally, Hank. Oh no, finally, this girl is in Uptown. So what a horrendous turn of events. Oh, wait, now we've got two other world events, don't we? We've got Leo Anderson, Yablamo. He is in the Yogoth. Pass a fight minus two check to lever back the lid of a stone chest. Inside you find $8. If you fail, lose one stamina. Fight minus two. Uh, we could really do with some money, so I'm going to actually spend one clue. Oh, wait, we've got fight plus two here. So that actually means we have two dice for this. 
So that is two dice, because we're two plus two is four, minus two, and we're blessed. So hopefully we'll get this. We could do with some money. G g give us some good luck. Ah, finally. Finally something good. That's eight bucks. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. Finally, something good happens. And over here we have Great Hall of Selenio. A huge book opens noiselessly as you approach. If you choose, you may read it, in which case you must pass a fight minus two check with two successes to defeat its guardian. If you do, draw three spells and keep two of them. If you fail, lose three stamina. If we lose three stamina, we go insane. And we've got no clues to re-roll this. And we have a fight of one anyway. So we're just going to choose not to open this scary looking book. So let's just uh, pass on that, shall we? Wow, that was a pretty intense turn. And Mythos card, Yablamo Woods. So we have another opening gate. That means we get three monsters, but of course we're at the monster limit. So it actually goes up one, two, three to eight, and we lose the remaining allies. And we have another Doom token. I think we have more than that, don't we? We opened one, two, three, so we actually should have three Doom tokens. Wow, that is insane. And also, someone has failed their event. I think it is... Okay, so Ashcan Pete has failed his task. Oh, this is a disaster. Everything's going wrong. Living nightmare. Was he asleep? Was he still dreaming? Pete couldn't tell anymore. Get away, get away. He staggered into the night reeling with a wine duke followed behind him. Pete discards his ally cards except duke. He may no longer gain allies. Well, that doesn't really worry us. This one also, we are at level four. So Leo's guilt comes out. Bamo. Good men keep dying on my watch. Anderson clasped his big hands together and stared into the flames. That stops now. If Leo ever discards an ally, he is devoured. Okay, so that's bad. Okay, so that's horrendous. How many? Oh dear, this is just terrible. Okay, so, <laughs> but no one moves because all the monsters are corralled by this bloke. So nothing moves. We have a clue at Independence Square, which has a gate, so nothing happens. Manhunt and the Arkham. All monsters in locations are returned to the cup. Are you kidding me? So, return to the cup, 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 cup. Cup, 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 cup. The whole thing was a complete waste of time. We now have no monsters at all on the board. Oh, that is just crazy. We have one, two, three, four gates. So it's game over, basically. Unless we have a monster surge next turn, it's pretty much over because one, two, three, four, there's four, uh, four gates open and five gates will lose the game. So this is, this has been a bit of a disaster. I might restart this game at some point because, uh, wow, that, I mean, that was a, that was really unlucky. We drew three gates that turn and we put all this effort into killing all those monsters but uh, instead the, the, but the mythos card did it all for us oh 
Gee, that was that was terrible. Okay, well, I guess that's that. I <laughs> will see you guys. Oh, wait, what's going on here? When Shobmel stirs in his slumber, plays seven rubble. Each time there's a monster search, so we should have drawn a rubble token. That Velm's dimer actually gets destroyed. Bam. Because we had a monster surge, so Vel Diamond is actually completely gone. Oh dear, this is this is just an absolute disaster. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys next time.